Hi and welcome to yet another episode of All About Code. My name is Till and today I'd like to talk about a potential pitfall you might run across when moving your applications to Express++ 2.0. This concerns the XPP Browse class, which as a general purpose tool for displaying data, obviously many of you are using in your applications. For the 2.0 version, the behavior of XPP browse objects when scrolling through the data was changed in a way to make it more compatible with what users are expecting from a browse in a Windows application. In order to get a better feel for the problem, uh, let me just bring up Windows Explorer so we can take a look at how things behave in a standard Windows application. What you see here is a list of files. And when I now begin moving the scroll bar around, you notice that the cursor or highlight bar always remains on the entry that I'd previously selected. And that, provided I move the scroll bar enough, the cursor may even be moved, even be moved off the visible area of the browse. This behavior is perf perfect for browsing large data sets because for me as a user, this means that I can scroll around looking for things without losing my selection each and every time. What we just saw, and this is illustrated in the bottom part of this graphic here, is a window-based view on the data. And me as a user moving the scroll bar actually means controlling the window with a subset of the data that I'm allowed to see at a particular point in time in the data set. Older versions of Express++, Plus Plus, Express++ Plus Plus 1.9 and, and older behaved very different in this regard. In this project here, let me just execute the application. We see two XPP browsers side by side. At the left-hand browse is a 1.9 browse. That means the navigational behavior of this browse object is the same as in older versions of XPS++, whereas in the browse on the right-hand side, we have the new 2.0 behavior. In a 2.0 browse, when I move the scroll bar, the cursor remains on the selection, uh, on the selection that I made uh, before beginning the scrolling operation. That means the current record does not change when scrolling. In an XPS++ 1.9 application, the behavior is very different. Here, when I begin scrolling, what I do actually is changing the record pointer position in the data source. That means every scrolling operation change the current record. However, in a 1.9 application, XPP browse objects guarantee that the record pointer or highlight bar is always visible in the browse object. This guarantee, XPP Browse objects uh, uh, no longer give in XPS++ 2.0. And this change is what may make problems in applications uh, relying on the old behavior. If you defined um, a shortcut, for example, for switching your browse into edit mode, this is an example for code that may run into problems if the user had moved at the highlight bar um, of the display area before uh, pressing the shortcut key. Now that we've uh, had a look at the problem, uh, let's take a look at how you may uh, get around it. As always, uh, with behavioral changes, uh, we went through great pains to provide you with tools and to keep your exact existing applications running without having to make big uh, code changes to keep them working. 
Uh, with regard to the new navigational behavior in XPP Browse, XPS++ 2.0 contains two approaches for restoring the behavior known from previous XPS++ versions. One all-encompassing method that restores uh, the previous behavior for all instances of XPP Browse uh, that exist in your application. And another method which allows you to uh, switch back to the previous behavior just for uh, particular instances of XPP Browse. Let's look at, at an example. This application again it creates a broad object for uh, viewing the contents of a table. And here we have, uh, since it is uh, a 2.0 application, uh, we have the new behavior that keeps uh, the user's uh, selection during the scrolling operation. If I now wanted to switch back uh, this particular browse to the previous behavior, what I need to do is to request uh, this behavior uh, via a certain member variable of the XPP Browse class. This is called here we go. This is called navigation mode. Navigation mode. And if you set this to the value XPP Browse navigation 1.x compatible, compile and run the application, what you get is the previous behavior. See, when I scroll down, the highlight bar always remains on the visible display area. So I'm no longer able to move it off the screen. This was an example of switching back a particular or a specific XPP browse object to the previous behavior. If I wanted to do the same thing for the whole of my application, there's another method you can use. And this is using a new class variable, um, excuse me, class method which affects the behavior of all XPP Browse instance subsequently created. So going back to the example, I now use this uh, second method, a method to change uh, the runtime behavior for all Browse instances. And because it's a global setting, um, a good place to do this is the APPSYS procedure, which is usually used to set up your um, application early at startup time. So let's find the procedure, AP pieces. And this method works as follows. Specifying the XPP Browse class, the class object, I call a method called setBehavior. And this method, I give a parameter XPP Browse Behavior 1.x. So now that this setting has been established, all browse objects that are created at a later point in time will use this particular behavior. So if I now we run the application, Again, we have the 1.9 compatible behavior. If I now created another browse and another one, all of these browsers would use the same 1.9 compatible setting. Okay, so much for uh, this particular pitfall when migrating your application to Express++ 2.0, the new 
a navigational behavior in XPP Browse. You have seen two easy methods for restoring the previous behavior and those you can use should you find out that your application is affected by this change in the new Express Plus Plus 2.0 version. I hope you have enjoyed the show and please stay tuned for other videos from Alaska Software.